Welcome to my May 2014 cottage garden tour. You're viewing my redbud tree. I have about uh, 14 probably of those in my yard. Somewhere 14, 15, somewhere in that range. And that's the uh, path going up to the house. That's Dame's Rocket and Knockout Rose leading up to my log cabin that I live in. And those are lilies and phlox that will bloom later. They're not in bloom yet. That's ox eye daisy. And that's sedum in the canoe. I plant that canoe. And you can see some red roses and other flowers there. That's giving you a kind of a bird's eye view of how the gardens lay there. That's facing the lake there on your right side. I had those uh, violas in my window boxes and when I made the window boxes for summer I put them around the uh, paths leading up to the house. So that's my flagstone path there leading up to my log cabin. There's my knockout roses in bloom and lilies not blooming yet. That's cross vine. That's a beautiful vine. Um, I've had it there now probably four or five years and I'm trying to get it all the way across the fence. That's painted daisies that I started in my little greenhouse. And I have my window boxes. They're, I just planted them. They don't look too good yet. That's spider plant in the hanging baskets. And that's a red climbing rose that I don't know the name of. I've had it several years also. That's silver lace vine. It's just now coming into bloom. It blooms twice a year in June and uh, again about September. And so this is the last of May. And it's trying to come into bloom. That climbing rose, that red climbing rose and that silver lace are intertwined there. I really cut that red rose back a lot last fall. That's my Lorapi and Coral Bells. And I have some shrubs back at, behind those. Hosta. That's Red Spirea uh, shrub that you can see across there. And, and then you see the rhododendron. I have that rhododendron uh, all the way down the side of that, that side of the house. And then I have it all the way across the front there facing the lake. I have solid rhododendron up next to the house. It's Autumn Joy, sedum. More Lorapi. It's a Japanese maple. I think I have maybe five or six Japanese maples. That's a uh, Jeff Hamilton uh, climbing rose. I love that thing. I've had that maybe 10 or 15 years, and um, I cut it back heavy last year too, and it come out real pretty. The clematis is just now coming into bloom. It's not blooming heavy yet. 
And that flower bed there hasn't come into bloom yet. That's uh, three different views of my dock. That's the sunset with the dock. And the next one uh, is on a rainy afternoon. I think that's really pretty. And that's early one morning uh, when it was the fog you couldn't cut it with a knife. And that was when the dogwoods were in bloom. That's the yellow sedum in the uh, canoe. That's some foxglove that I started in my little uh, greenhouse potting shed last uh, fall and it bloomed this spring so it didn't take it long at all to make itself. I planted it last fall after it had been in the greenhouse maybe four or five weeks. I like the white one the best. I think it's so pretty with those maroon markings. That's a, I was sitting on my dock. There's a bird in, the, in that birdhouse there. There's a tree swallow built in that uh, gourd you can see there. There's my Jeff Hamilton pink climbing rose again. My clematis. I don't know the name of that. I, I got that uh, at the Kmart. They had some that was about dead and I bought several of them and I don't know the names of them because I didn't keep the tickets on them. That's the uh, yellow uh, sun, sun drop primrose. Those spread really well and uh, they bloom maybe a couple of weeks. They're not a long bloomer but they're real pretty. That's the uh, Canadian geese, and that's my neighbors across the lake. That's uh, the Canadian geese with some of their babies. They will eat you up when they have babies. You have to stay back from them when you're filming them. Blue heron. And there's the cattle already taking a swim in May, so it's going to be a hot summer it looks like. Makes you wonder about swimming in the lake after you see that. That's all. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll visit me again. Thank you.